first time this weekend in round five of the European Le Mans series. Very well behaved, waiting for those red lights to go out, which they do now. It's a great getaway from Kiffin Simpson. Now a lock-up, though, around the outside for Manuel Maldonado for Panis Racing. He's actually going to lose positions as a result of that, fighting to squeeze back in behind the Duquesne team of René Binder. So Maldonado through the first split in fifth position. And now the concertina effect in LMP3. There's a car facing the wrong way there. That might even be the pole sitter of Michael Jensen. Did the eight car come through? The one that's tumbling down for Virage is in fact Jackson, the, it's, it's, a P2. It's, it's a P2, I beg your pardon. It's the pole sitter from LMP2 Pro-Am. So it's the 19 car that does not complete the first sector and it was facing the wrong way. Here he is in a quite a predicament on the opening lap, Graham. Absolutely, didn't see the incident that caused that, but it's a place that quite often you'll see these cars compress as up the inside in the United Autosports, up the inside of Interiopol. That is Phil Hansen going through Bob Paul, the fog, and Rio Andrade in the early stage of this lap to go up to second place behind Kiffin Simpson. Game on. Charging down the inside there, Rene Binder, who will be side by side with the 43 car of Rui Andrade, but Andrade has the better line into turn 14. Sort of within his rights to edge Binder out a little bit, but not as wide as the car up front, That's, which that is was Phil Hansen. Hansen. Yeah, Hansen way wide. Yeah, so. He may be just misjudging the amount of tyre temperature he's got in the early stages. We did have two green flag laps to try and build the temperature in the Goodyear tyres, but now Binder's got a very good run on Rui Andrade, but it's dusty out there to close to the pit wall and also looking to make a manoeuvre, I think, having lost places in the early stages.